Hey guys, welcome to Blue Effects. My name is Uwes, and in today's video, we're going to be talking to you guys about our three best intros, the top three best intro templates that we have, and we're going to be giving them to you guys free of charge, completely for free to download right now. In fact, you can download it in the description right now. So we have the gamers intro, we have the fire intro, and then we also have the beloved Blue Effects ribbon reveal video or intro rather. So we're gonna be teaching you guys how to use this all within film mode. Let's jump into that right now. I don't wanna keep you guys waiting. Before we actually do that one second of your time, please leave a like down below as well. I share this video with all of your mates because it really does help us and it just shows your support because we support you free downloads. So here we are in Filmora and the first intro I want to create creating is actually the gamers intro. So what I'm going to do is actually head in and once you download the file from the link in the description, you can unzip it and then drag all four of these videos into uh, Filmora just like that. Once they are imported, what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to drag the base layer onto my video track. I'm going to say keep project settings and then going to drag the base loop right next to it. And then on top of it, I'm going to drag the reveal and then I'm gonna drag the upper loop right next to it. Now, the thing what I actually wanna do here is actually create um, a bit of a split. So what I wanna do is actually move this reveal up a track and then up one more track. And then the upper loop obviously right next to it. So now we have this two video gap or two video layer space. Then what I wanna do is actually just play through and see what it looks like. So as you can see, it's going over there. And we can have actually just drop this down. My PC is struggling a bit over here. Okay, because it's so high quality, of course. <laughs> so there it is over there. So what we're going to do then is actually create some text. So let's head over here and add a title. We can then go over to basic plain title over here. Let's download that one. And then let's drag it into the timeline. So there it is over there. Let's start typing what we want. So I'm going to type in the intro perfect and then going to scale it down a little bit maybe to about 56 and then i'm going to position it over here in the middle let's actually move to this point there we go and then what i'm going to do is duplicate that Control c and then Control v oops let's paste it over here Control v and drag it at the same point play, place i can't even speak and then i'm going to edit that one blue fx blue fx we're then going to decrease that size quite a bit, maybe to about 32. And I'm going to position it up here. Oh, I tried Blue FC, Blue FX. Okay. Uh, what am I doing, Blue FX? There it is over there. Now, if we actually uh, stretch this text so that it actually is the length of our entire comp, we can notice something that's a bit of a problem over here. Because right at the start of our project, we have the text appearing already. And now that's not something we want because obviously there's nothing to actually be behind the text. So if we play through, we notice at a certain point, the text disappears right over here. So what we want to do at that point is drag our text to start at that point. So we drag it over there. And if we play through now, we should have a pretty good intro. And there it is, right there, super easy and super cool. Like, it actually boggles my mind how it's this simple. So without skipping a beat, let's delete everything except our text. And then we can go over and we can have it to media, let's delete all of these. And then let's bring in all of our fire assets for the fire intro. So let's head over into the fire title, MOV PNG. Let's drag these four files in. And I'm going to go even faster on this to show you how cool and how easy it is. So let's click on the base and drag it in below. Uh, keep project settings. Let's click the base loop, drag it in over there. Um, and then on the right on the top, we're going to drag the reveal. And then we're going to drag the upper loop. Now, if we play through, once again, we have our text all over the place. So what we're going to do is at the point where the text disappears, which is about here, there it is over there. We can then click the text to start at that point. Let's drag it so it starts there. And then obviously, let's just resize our text so that it fits where we want it to fit. So let's double click it over there. And then we can just scale this up a bit by scaling it up 
position it over there. Obviously, my my uh, uh, editing for these text, this text isn't actually perfect because I'm trying to go fast and show you guys how simple it is. But you can take your time, use whatever fonts you want, whatever styles you want, and make it look even better. Okay, let's hit okay. And if we play through now, super simple and super quick. That's unlike under two minutes. We then have our brand new intro playing just like that. Okay, and for the final one, which is the most different of them all, let's select everything, delete it, and then let's head delete all of it from here as well, as well as this one. And then what we're gonna do is head over to our effects. We're gonna head over to the blue effects ribbon template, and we're gonna drag in the blue one. Oh, let's, you know what? let's do something and drag in the blue one, the lens flare, as well as the background into Filmora. Then what I'm going to do is actually import my logo for BlueFX or the logo for your company, your channel, whatever it is, into Filmora as well. So now that I've imported my logo as well, let's get started. Let's drag the background in onto video layer one. We can then drag the blue and white ribbon onto video three. Let's keep it there. And then if we play through, we can see how it looks. At a certain point, the ribbon covers the screen completely right over here. So at this point, let's drag in the BlueFX logo to start just there. And then let us resize this. So let's double click it. Let's go to transform. And then let's just scale it down until it's not visible right over there. And now if we play through, what we can see is the ribbon comes in, does a bit of a swirl twirl, and then reveals our blue effects logo. That's looking great. What can actually elevate this further is if you actually listen to this, we can. there's actually a bit of a ting sound that comes in. It sounds something like this. So when that sound happens, which is about here somewhere, we can actually add in a new text layer. So let's uh, a text layer to just sort of appear with that. So let's go to titles. Let's drag in something like this. Let's download this one, title 39. And then we can drag it in at that point over there. So it sort of appears with that, as we can see. Oh, my background seems to have disappeared. Let's drag that out. Let's drag the logo out as well. And so this sort of appears with that. So then let's just obviously edit this. We can delete this and type in subscribe below. We can make that obviously a little bit smaller or actually a lot smaller. Let's drag it in over there. Maybe even a bit smaller. A tip for you guys, the smaller you go, the more cinematic it looks. Don't ask me why that works, but it just does. Let's make it a blue color. And that now it appears at that point with a little zing. And we have a text. And obviously, this is very animated. You have a whole bunch of options to choose from over here. But that's up to you guys. Then for one final touch, let's drag in the lens flare right at the start. Obviously, it's, it's, uh, it's black and it's covering up the entire screen. We don't want that. So let's double click it. Let's go over into compositing and set the blending mode to screen. And just like that, we have the intro, a third intro completely for free. Take a look. Amazing, amazing mind blowing click the link down below download it completely for free and like this video share this video show it to as many people as you can to also give them access to this free uh this free assets that you guys can use so if you guys have enjoyed this video please subscribe like i said and follow us tell us what you want to see next comment down below interact with us on social media we're always you know hoping to see our subscribers and our viewers and our customers interact with us we really love it so do that definitely and uh yeah until next time i hope to see you guys in the next one and until then peace